To make the smart scarecrow, we need an Arduino on a development board, a motion sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, a buzzer, and a server motor. I am using this motion sensor to detect the temperature of different animals. I am using ultrasonic sensor to get the length of the animal. I am using this buzzer to send the sound that the animal doesn't like. Also, we need two LED lights or two flashlights for the animals that doesn't like light. As an example, porcupine. I am using a project box to fix all these things. Now. I am going to fix the servo motor to the top of the project box like this. Then I am going to fix the two LED lights to the project box like this. Then I am going to fix the motion sensor and the ultrasonic sensor to the servo motor. Then I am going to put the Arduino on a board inside the project box. Okay, now I have done making my smart scarecrow. Then let's take a look at the programming code. This is the code that I wrote for smart scarecrow. First, on the top, I have defined the variables needed for the code. Then I have included the library necessary to access the servo motor. Then I have defined the pins I am using for the ultrasonic sensor as echo and trig. In the setup function, I have defined the pins to the code. Then in the loop function, I have created a variable to get the readings from the motion sensor. Then I have created another variable to convert the reading from the motion sensor to temperature. Then I have created a while loop to keep rotating our servo motor. Inside that while loop, I have written the coding lines to get the distance from the ultrasonic sensor. Inside the while loop, if the distance is less than 30 inches, to the obstacle should add 1 to the variable well to in 70 milliseconds. Then I have created another variable called well. The reading inside it is 10 less than from the well to variable. Then I have wrote an if statement to test our smart scarecrow. I am using a human to test our smart scarecrow. Our smart scarecrow is identifying whether this is a human by checking if the length is between 39 and 19 and the temperature is between 98.3 and 98.7. Then if this is a human, I have wrote the coding lines to send a sound while turning on the LED lights. Then I have wrote another two example animals. They are elephant and porcupine. You can see that our smart scarecrow is working. Other than human, I have wrote the codes necessary to identify other two animals. 
and I have wrote the sound needed to send to those animals as coding. I have only wrote the coding to identify a human to test. If we are keeping the smart scarecrow in a field, we can use a battery like this to give the power supply. I will think this smart scarecrow will help to do cultivation in our country better.